three, two. Okay, you can hear me. So on my computer, there is a folder of the computer named Him 1994. The name of this whole thing was inspired by a movie from the 1970s, but it's a very, very interesting part of the uh, computer I have. And uh, the laptop, to be fair, because uh, I don't have a computer. I have a laptop. Anyways, here are many folders with really weird stuff that is very obscure, and I would love to talk about the weird stuff that I found. Yeah. Um, uh, I will do that today, in this episode of what the fuck do I have on my computer even. So first and foremost, in this folder we have the person who, who got the name of the folder. The guy who was actually born in 1994, which is JVFGOT7, but that's another question why I have so many pictures of him. There used to be around 500 pictures of him, but now there's just uh, 50 pictures in one video or something. So next folder is stuff that I'm not supposed to show because it's from Bulgarian servers and yeah, we'll get into the good part eventually after I find the comments that I talked about. So here we are and in today's part we'll be reading these smooth pictures I have. Bearing, Junjunex Reader, Genre, Smooth, Summarize, or Summary. I have no idea how to summarize. <laughs> Warnings. Oral. Female receiving. Use of toys. Mommy king. If you can make me comfort, I'll let you do so as well. That was the deal you had set for Hyunjin. He was on all fours before you, eager to please you. Color? You asked, making sure you weren't pushing him too hard. Green, mommy, he said with a smile, and you smiled back at him. Explicit. Levi, Aaron, eager. Tact. Smooth can converse plot blah, 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 way too many plots. Jesus Christ. The way you're fucking clenching around my dick tells me otherwise. Gonna fuck you full of my cum. Cause that's all you're good for, huh? Being my cum soft. Your pussy's heavenly. Wang Hyunjin hated how bossy you were. Hated you that you had never fell for his charms or flirting. In all honesty, he thought you were kinda cute. Oh my god. He moved his hand to cover your mouth as he rammed into you, your moans way too loud for comfort. He didn't want the neighbors to come knocking. You know, you're actually quite beautiful when you aren't using that mouth to harass me. He slipped the fingers into your mouth, grinning proudly at how you immediately started sucking on them. Warning! Not safe for work. Voyeurism. Degradation. Exhibitionism. Cream pie. Reader is on unmentioned birth control. Slides in dub count, I guess. I think that's it. Worth count, 1629. My longest piece yet. Requests open. Ugh, His baby, I'm a porn star! With Park Sun Kwa of 80s? Their three year old daughter going into bed with him because they're scared. But why is this in the subsection? Fuck, this is what I need. Don't know if I have to hate you. Thank you for making me write this. Ah. Okay, so now that we have established that we're both in our mid-twenties, will you please confirm or deny the blanket stink? You laughed out loud, realizing that this is the most you've laughed in a while, especially over a guy. You're right. Screw the fort. I have enough blankets to make a whole house. Chan was a crow man. A very, very crow man. Come on, Jeannie. He scooted it closer to him, and reaching for the pillow in his lap and tossing it away from him, he immediately jumped to cover his crotch with his hands. He had an obvious and growing problem. Jabam checked softly, feet nipping at the delicate skin of her exposed collarbone. Every time I catch you staring at me with those pretty eyes, I have fight this urge to bend you over my desk and fuck you into the next week. Okay, this is long now. It's, it's very, very interesting, so you can pause it. It was about a whole soccer team, I mean a whole football team, of gays. Yeah, that's right. Gays! And everybody was staring at Goenji, who was being the only brave person to talk about masturbate. This is so wrong! Hiroto is blackmailing me. I'm in this room, tied on his bed, 
And I still have that problem. I want to get out of here. Fubuki still had his eyes closed. There was one thing his parents and Natsu told him when he was still young. If you're scared, think of your happy place, Shiro. Yeji arced eyebrow. Arked a brow. Mischievous grin on her face. Are you saying you'd bang me too, your name? I wonder how he likes his eggs in the morning. Because I want mine fertilized. You can't wait for the next day to tell you he saw you being banged by another guy in a movie. Awesome! I have a big dick, but my brain is huge. <laughs> so this one will have to be translated. And uh, no, it's not a simut. You fucking wasp! I'm a wasp? Oh, let's fight 1v1! Near the, near the building! Marshall. Marshall is like a dead animal that, uh, you know, gonna be eaten. I'm waiting for you! I'm not! What? I am not pathetic! Oh, you told it to him. Yeah, of course to him. Yeah, we're just joking. Yeah. Oh, so you decided to fuck me and let me know that way? You mock him, but you mean well. He gives a goofy smile, both of you laugh. You... Do you like me? Is it more than friends? Of course I do. He doesn't have a vagina! You robbed me of a wife for Jeboom and a queen for our kingdom today. The queen reminds me. So for your punishment, you're to spend the rest of your life with Jeboom. You will be inseparable from him and you will be the queen of this kingdom requires you to be. You grasp what her was before turning to Jeboom, who is already on his way to you. He grabs your face and kicks his kick. <laughs> And kisses you with all the passion and love he could muster. He eventually pulls away before running to hug his mother and his father. Oh, I see. You said planting, planting your feet and letting your head slip from your gash. I want something more binding. Jevon stopped, revolting on his heels to face you, and his wings shuddered with excitement. There's nothing more binding than me claiming as you're my own. No! I guess you got love! You found your resolve and reminded him. Once upon a time, I offered myself to you. I remember. You made me feel unworthy. I was the one who wasn't on earth. Who wasn't worthy? Said Jevon. Eskinor slapped her ass, leaving a dark wells. He mercilessly slammed into her, causing her to helplessly mourn. He slapped her ass every few trusts. Telling her that she belongs to him and only him. After minimal movements of thrusting and spanking, Eskinor came inside, filling her up to the brim. He pulled out, letting her rest. He laid down beside her, both of them trying to catch their breath. Ex mm -hmm. We'll have to change that. He replied, thinking of numerous ways he could cut her to sleep, both sexual and non-sexual. He wanted to feel bad for thinking about her in such a manner, but he was a man, and he would be lying to himself if he said he hadn't thought about it more than once. He was attracted to her both sexually and non-sexually. And I named this JB who thinks of sexual and non-sexual ways on a fanfiction with a tattooed girl in Korea, XT. Hey, I said kiss, not make a fucking baby! Just like that, the movement, the moment was gone, broken and shattered, along with his heart. Jebon broke the kiss, his eyes fucking up, looking up to Chinyung's before turning away, putting a little space between them. JJ Project making a God Aid member. Kane is a horny 19 year old. About 10 minutes before Kane grabbed you and started to make out with you, you started to rub him down south and he moaned and in the kisses he picked you up and wrapped your legs around his waist and pulled away, knowing you wanted more, and Winky knew he was going to leave you waiting for more, so you would have had to wait until he couldn't any longer, and there you were a little sore of the event or two hours ago, and blah blah blah. He agrees with your quest. One warning I'll have for you. If you try to have sex with him, you will most likely kill you. Talks to Omen. Kildred paled and nodded. Cypher felt bad to subject Omen to Kildred's eccentric ways, so he helped him out a bit. Kildred exited the workshop and quickly shut the door. 
Joja, I do not dare to fuck anybody. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this was from a Jetex Phoenix perfection. He grinned. Can I buy you a drink? I like Riesling. Oh yeah, we're gonna get drunk. I really have my face, but I have nowhere else to put it. Ah, that. His hand slipped free from your body and he began striding, stri striding down the hall. Does that mean we'll fight again? No. Stairs. How boring. Junyoung <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> was just about to fall asleep he, as he felt himself being flipped over to his knees, dragging a yelp out of him. Jobom ripped off his boxes and shedding his 12-inch dick from its confines. He wasted no time shoving it into Jin Young so pussy, making the younger lurch forward and scream in pleasure. Us break up sex that helps you forget your ex. That was actually my wallpaper. And this is how a smooth writer's profile picture looks like. And yep, this was the first part and there is even more into this folder. So we're going to continue with it. Living with Satan. Yuki Hyun was being bullied for no reason by El Min Hyuk. Wow. He surprised. But then, ooh, what's that smell? It's my lavender perfume. My fave. Get away! I'm allergic to lavender! Paints and dice. Headline. Woman poisons husband got 7 JB with daily smelling perfume. Jail for life. What? You look so... Good? Yeah, forget it. I wanna be sick. He cut me by crashing his lips. Onto mine. It wasn't like before, before he was gentle, but now it seemed rough. I barely responded to it, and he pulled away. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Forget it. You're getting none of it tonight. I said lifeless, even though on the inside I was exploding. Mind blowing. I turned to the side, making sure to cover up. Are you mad? Nothing. How does it feel, Jabom, to be rejected? And ignore your little bitch! And do we talk about this? It was so long, I remember telling you I was tired. That doesn't mean follow me upstairs and start a conversation, he mumbled, putting his face in a pillow. I know, but I don't want us to fight again. I pouted, holding on the paw, supporting the bed. This isn't a fight. This is me sleeping. You're welcome to watch, he replied sarcastically. I laid on him and pouted again, even though he couldn't see me. Do you mind getting off me? No, I don't. Do you mind? I hugged at his waist, back in his cheek. Yeah, I do. He kept turning to face me. Room. His own. Being in Dream High had carried Dream Night and who is next? Nicknames. Marky Poo. Mark Hyung. Dan Mark. Dim Sum Mark. Marku. Little Cock. Little Rooster. Luna. Why are you doing this? He sighed with a concern on his face. Well, I lost my boyfriend who wanted to be my husband, by the way, because I slept with my husband. Irony. I yelled and a few people looked at me. Are we going to your room? Nah, we're going to fucking the street. I hope you rot in hell. He said that he was smiling a little, though he tried very hard not to. Macy almost let out a loud scream if it wasn't for Sung Min to spin her around as they were face to face. The surprise look escaped her face and Macy smiled at Sung Min like she hadn't done anything wrong. And if you wonder why this thing is with orange line, it's because I was screenshotting this to show it to a friend because this hadn't, or past perfect tense, is a new grammar to him, so I sent it to him. I sent this, had been, had done, you know, search grammar. With his, with her legs awkwardly placed in front of her, she began to push herself slowly back and forth. The park was empty, and not a single child was seen to her side. Not even the squirrel that would come out to greet everyone when he was eager to visit the happy children. Adam signed a little. Things had changed. The park was a bit old, and the swings made squeaky sounds. It made her sad, but enjoyed it nonetheless. Suddenly she felt her hands cover her eyes as someone was heavily breathing into her ear if they had been running a marathon without taking a rest. Then the boy seemed not so innocent. 
I'm convinced Hyunjin has the biggest stick and strike it. Congrats! You're never leaving his arms ever again. After three more tests, they both release. JB rolls on his back, taking your name into a hug. JB, yes, you didn't use protection. I forgot! I got caught up in the moment. JB replied. And this is way too long, but I will summarize it in a very, very quick manner. So, you zoom this shit, and then you see that it's actually a fanfiction about Stray Kids. Or about Hyunjin. Maybe it's about Hyunjin only. My favorite pastime is like, you know, going to the store and buying identical Nerf guns to the ones Hobby has, urinating in them, switching them with the sprite ones, and laughing hysterically as Hosea sprays one of his victims with a top repellent. What? You look so... Okay, I've read this one before. I just had to read it again. You two better leave. I'll prepare it for myself. Leave or else I will start crying now. Hyunjin and Jihyun threw the spoons and bowls to the counter before taking this as their last chance to their survival and escaping as soon as possible, especially Hyunjin, because he knew Hana might forgive Jihyun because he, Jihyun is their kid, but she won't let Hyunjin run so easily. Right now it was 1.40 at night and Hana was craving for a cake as it was the seventh month of her second pregnancy, no, actually third, yes again, Arthur knows, and her cravings were no joke. So Hyunjin decided to make her a cake, and Jihyun tagged along too, because it was holidays and he was playing video games. I'm doing what you want me to do. Why, you want a kiss? The teasing made Felix ears burn. I hope you rot in hell, he said. So, will you give me one? Felix asked. You never said no, so will you give me one? You're no fun. Don't we just both get into the shower and take a shower? Okay, I'll give you privacy. I said I was about to leave. Uh, no, I meant like both in, in the shower. Oh, okay. So I don't know how to write more. So use your imagination. End of chapter. Anyway, thank you so much. Assistant Quang, I may be your assistant, but that doesn't mean I can't protect Chido. And I think that was that was the whole thing. We got some repeats. I forgot to cut them off. And I'm very, very glad. There's also a pause that we can discover next time because I think this thing is going way too long. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.